Welcome back. We are heading into the seventh annual Rib Fest down at Riverside Park. Bryce Herman, always here to give us the details. Great to be doing this again. It's great. We're yeah. really excited. We um, had a planning meeting earlier this morning, you know, first thing in the morning. Great way to start, you know. Mm -hmm. But we had Eggs Benny, so that was good. Oh, that is uh, so good. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're uh, getting some of the final little items put together for Rib Fest. And of course, that's coming at us here really quick, um, mm -hmm. August 10th through 12th. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to be doing midday live uh, so. from the site. So yes. looking forward to that. If Marcel can make it all happen for us, you know, I he, know. It's all he's about the Marcel. magic. It's the magic man behind the camera. That's right. And uh, so we'll be doing that. And I think the five o'clock news, we're going to broadcast yeah, live out of there as well. Yeah. So we do that out of there. So yeah, pretty exciting. Exciting. We've, uh, we've got a great lineup. I think some of the things that uh, we should probably let folks know is that we've got some things that we've added this year. I mean, we always try and enhance, you know, the, uh, the event year over year. This year, what we've done is on Sunday, we've really tried to make it really um, a unique day. And so we're going to have a tap takeover. Mm -hmm. And uh, that means that what's going to happen is all the local breweries, and we've got a great beer culture in Kamloops, um, they're going to be taking over the tap lines at Rib Fest. So we're going to be serving all the local beer. And so Iron Road and Red Collar and the Noble Pig are going to be taking over the taps, and uh, we're going to be providing all of their products on that day. So it's going to be a really exciting day. We'll be starting off first thing in the morning on Sunday with uh, an add-on, and Cat and Finning has sponsored the Machine Mayhem, which is going to be an opportunity for kids and big kids and little kids, doesn't mm -hmm. matter who you are, to get out and play on some of those great machines. Um, and so that's going to happen first thing in the morning. It's going to be a little show and shine as well. We, we have to get into yeah, the, you can yeah. sort of, It feels more real when you see the pictures. Absolutely. Well, and, and we know how real it is because we usually have ribs stuffed in our face while we're talking. And we will. And do we that will again. again this year. Yes, so, we will. So, yeah, these, uh, these are just some of the great shots of, uh, you know, the park and the activities, the family fun zone. Um, we'll be doing a lot of that again, activities around that. We've got uh, aerial opera that's going to be joining us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some theatrical groups that are going to be joining us in the family fun zone. So, lots of activities for kids. And I think the really important thing for people to understand is Ribfest is really free. We're not, we're not asking anybody to come down and say you have to spend money. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you want to come down and enjoy the music and, uh, you know, you don't have the financial means to do it, bring the family down, join us. The music is on. The activities are free. It's really about supporting community. That's what Rotary puts this event on for. I know, it's wonderful. And all the money that's been raised. How many years does this set into this number is, seven, This is right? year seven. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So it's, it's been a great event. Um, I remember when we first started it, you know, we started off and it was going to be six months from then. And we all said, holy smokes, that's a big undertaking. We didn't really know how it was all going to go. And we pulled it off in true Rotary form and uh, uh, a great success. Mm -hmm. It has done nothing but continue to track in an up direction and now it's really become one of those signature events in the community it really has it really uh, uh, the community embraced it from the word go and it's just Absolutely gotten not. better every year so this year will be no different it's gonna be fantastic again August 10 through 12 yes uh, and uh, local breweries taking over the taps I like the way that sounds that yeah sounds I think great. it's I think it's gonna be a lot of fun yeah. and of course the music lineup uh, I've almost got a full complement of uh, local musicians uh, as well as the closing acts are done we of course we work with Henry uh, mm -hmm. music in the park uh, we'll have a uh, hip tribute on Friday night. Nice. We'll have an e Eagles tribute band on the Saturday night. And we're closing off with a Beatles tribute on the Beer Tap takeover night. I kind of thought that whole retro thing and beer culture, you can't miss with the Beatles. No, that's yeah. going to be so much yeah, fun. Yeah, so I think it's just going to be a great time. I'm excited. I, I really yeah. am. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And the people of Kamloops have embraced it over the years. Yes. And I don't expect this year will be any different. No. We're just hoping for great weather. No fires. We'll talk about that a little closer to the, the we time. We will. But you know what? We We're will. hoping for the very best in regard to that, for sure. Uh, again, uh, if you want to learn more, kennelsribfest.com. You can find out about the musical acts and all the things that will be going on. Uh, it's yeah. going to be a great uh, event once again, I have no doubt. Absolutely. Bryce, thank you for being here. I'm happy to be here. Okay. I'll be back in a few weeks, and we'll talk about it again. Sounds we'll bring good. people up to speed on some of the new updates. Sounds awesome. All right. We'll take all a right. quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.